Hey, this is Scott from Green Scott. I'm doing a direct side by side comparison with a lawn aerating machine as well with my product, the lawn aerating wheel that you place on your lawnmower. My brother's going to give me a hand here. You could hear that uh, everybody's mowing their lawn. This guy next door has a remote control lawnmower. Looks pretty awesome. What we're going to do today is compare the Green Scott aerating wheel with a rental machine from Home Depot. It took about 20 minutes to get the rental machine to my house in a trailer. Um, if you had a truck, you better bring somebody because they're really heavy. Aside from that, what we're gonna do is measure the speed as well as the hold depth. So this is from the wheel, a couple inches. These are from the machine, pretty much about the same. You can tell these seem to be just squishing out nice and quick. But they all do seem to break off at about the same length. Go over here where the uh, Green Scott aerating wheel was. And you can see this ruler's at two and a half inches. Um, you can see when you find a hole that it's around two inches. That's two and a half. From the aerating wheel. Go over here. Two inches. That ain't a bad one right there. Two and a half. That's pretty good for a uh, aerating wheel just on the front of a mower. You can see they kind of break off because the ground is a little bit dry, but you can see it is holding some moisture. Yeah. So there's grass bottom. That's marked at two and a half inches. 